RNA world. RNA world was the first genetic material. There is enough evidence to suggest essential life processes like metabolism and translation, etc. evolve around RNA. RNA acts as genetic material and as a catalyst. RNA being a catalyst was reactive and hence unstable. Therefore DNA has evolved from RNA with chemical modifications that make it more stable. DNA being double-stranded and having complementary strands resist changes by evolving a process of repair. Replication DNA replication takes place by a semi-conservative method. The two strands would separate and act as a template for the synthesis of new complementary strands. After the completion of replication, each DNA would have one parental and one newly synthesized strand. The experimental proof. It was first shown in E. coli and subsequently in higher organisms such as plants and human cells. Matthew Maselson and Franklin Stanl performed the experiment in 1958. They grew E. coli in a medium containing 15 NH4 Cl. 15 N is a heavy isotope of nitrogen. The result was that 15 N was incorporated into newly synthesized DNA, nitrogen containing compounds. This heavy DNA molecule could be distinguished from normal DNA by centrifugation in CSCL density gradient. The cells were transferred into a medium with normal 14 NH4 Cl and took samples at various definite time intervals as the cells multiplied and extracted the DNA that removed as double-stranded helices. The various samples were separated independently on CSCL gradients to measure DNA densities. The DNA that was extracted from the culture of one generation after the transfer from 15N to 14N medium had hybrid or intermediate density. DNA extracted from culture after another generation was composed of equal amounts of this hybrid DNA and of light DNA. Similar experiments involving the use of radioactive thymine to detect distribution of newly synthesized DNA in the chromosome was performed on soya beans by Taylor and colleagues in 1958. The experiments proved that DNA in chromosomes also replicates semi-conservatively.